taken a trip to the Riviera Maya in Mexico sometime soon and not sure what kind of excursion to pick. There are so many incredible excursions in the Riviera Maya, but I have one excursion that I personally took myself that was absolutely incredible. Stay tuned for all of the details. Hi, my name is Asai. I'm a travel agent and the owner of Scenic Views Travel. And here on this channel, I bring you travel tips and tricks resort highlights and information about traveling to Mexico and the Caribbean. So just to point out right now, I do have some notes here that I am gonna be referring to just right in front of me down here. So don't be alarmed if my eyes go kind of all over the place. So I took a trip to Mexico with my family. My kids were five and seven at the time. Back in 2021, we stayed at the Iberostar Paraiso Maya Suites, which I'm gonna link that video that I did somewhere on the screen and down in the description box. It was truly one of my favorite resorts ever, and it's actually one that I recommend to a ton of my personal clients as a travel agent. When we booked this trip, we knew that we wanted to do an excursion. Our kids were little at the time, five and seven. So initially we had selected going to Shellha, which is one of the eco parks located a little bit north of Tulum. Uh, we thought it would be a ton of fun. You can do so many different things there. There's snorkeling, zip lining, cliff jumping, um, trails to explore, bicycles. Uh, they have a natural lazy river, all sorts of things like that. So it sounded super fun. But as our trip got closer, my husband and I started talking and we wanted to experience a little bit more of the real Mexico. And I came across this particular excursion that I'm going to talk about today that to me embodies a lot of this particular region of Mexico. So I do want to state that this video is absolutely not sponsored in any way. I was not given anything in exchange for this review. And clearly this excursion has stayed with me because it's now three years later and I'm still talking about how great this excursion was and recommending it to all of my clients. So the excursion I'm talking about today is snorkeling in a cenote and snorkeling with the sea turtles down in Acumal. So I'm gonna first talk about a little bit about our experience. Now, when we traveled in October of 2021, it was still very COVID times. We had to take a test in order to return home. So everything was pretty locked down. So for this excursion, we did choose a private excursion. And by private, that means that we were the only people in this group. Uh, so with our experience on the morning of our excursion, we were picked up in a transfer van and the van had a driver and actually the owner of the company accompanied us on this excursion. And we had a wonderful ride down the highway. It was like 45, 30 to 45 minutes away from our resort to the cenote so we made a turn off of the highway and it was the craziest bumpiest dirt road i wish i'd gotten video of the ride uh, but as we were driving down this ride you could see ride as we were driving down this road you could see on each side of the road were signs for all different cenotes and i don't even know how many are located along this road but eventually we got down the road maybe it was at least a 10 to 15 minute drive down this dirt bumpy road to this excursion. I'm gonna have to look up the name again because I can't quite remember it. Okay, I found the name of the cenote and it's called Takbiha Cenote. No clue if I'm saying that right, um, probably not. But it is Tak Takbiha Cenote. And this cenote is absolutely wild. I was not expecting this at all. I expected more of an open cenote, but we walked down. Well, first we had to take a shower under a trickle of water and they want to make sure that you don't have any damaging products on your body that can harm the fish and everything within this cenote. So we took this very cold shower, we were the only people there and the gentleman running the place fired up the generator and we were led to this small staircase that literally went through a hole in the ground. 
and we go down this hole and if some of my video is a little bit dark, I apologize, I didn't have any lighting to make it look any better, but I'm gonna do my best. So you go down this hole, down this staircase, and it opens up into this incredible, fully enclosed cenote cave. The entire left side was all um, rock area, and then to the right, and then like sort of behind rock area was where all of the water was. And then you could see the trees growing on the ground. You could see some of their root systems coming all the way down through the ground into the cenote. So at this point, we had some snorkel gear and we got into the water. It was a little bit chilly. My seven-year-old daughter was a little afraid, but the water was so crystal clear. There were some fish in there, nothing crazy and not a lot of fish, just very tiny fish. If you would hold still, they'd actually come and nibble on you, which freaks me out. It tickles me. I'm the most ticklish person ever. Um, at that point, we were able to explore. We could snorkel if you wanted. I did take some footage with my GoPro and some of it came out a little bit dark, which is unfortunate, but there's not much I can do about that. So then we were actually, our guide told us to swim around sort of the front side of these rocks and you could even go back into some of the caves a little bit. It was definitely deep. I can't remember the footage. It was definitely deep. And then you could actually see lines in the water for divers because this system goes so far in these caves you, and you have to follow the line on, you know, because you don't want to get lost. Okay, so after we explored, um, our guide even took a whole bunch of photos for us, photos of us in the water, photos of us in front of the cenote. It was probably one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had, especially on an excursion. So after that, we got back into the van and we drove maybe, it was about only about 15 minutes down to the town of Akamal. And if you've ever heard of Akamal before, that is where sea turtles come naturally to feed on the seagrass that grows there. So we get to the beach and we are led to a local guide who spoke nearly zero English. And my husband and I at that time only dabbled in a little bit of learning Spanish just for this trip. We're much further along now, by the way. Um, so we met with our guide and he was incredible. He gave us some hand signals of things that he might see. I may not remember them all, but it was tortuga, which is turtle. I can't remember what the signal was for turtle. Um, and like ray is like something like this for a stingray. I can't remember the name. Um, we were instructed to come behind him. And the reason we had a local guide in the water with us is that if you have a guide, you can go past the roped off swimming area and see way more turtles than you could if you were staying at one of the nearby resorts and just getting into the water on your own. You have to have a guide out there because they know exactly where to go and exactly how to avoid the boats that come in and out of the little channel that they have there. So we get in the water and it's definitely going a little bit slow. The kids are only five and seven and due to the nature of how the seagrass grows, we were instructed also not to kick like this, but to make sure that we were laying down and kicking and they don't allow fins. So my kids got very tired by the end. However, let me get to the good part. We start getting out there and I couldn't even tell you how many turtles we saw. We saw so many turtles. We saw small turtles, adult turtles, groups of turtles just swimming around and they were the most heavenly creatures to swim with and see. It was amazing. I would recommend that to anybody, hands down, as an excursion to do. So as I mentioned, my kids did get tired. They were only five and seven, and our wonderful guide had a rope attached to almost like a life preserver, and he instructed my kids just to hold on to that life preserver, and he swam them out for the whole, um, probably for the half of the trip, so that um, they could keep up with us and get to see everything that we saw. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. My husband and I did use the provided snorkel gear. 
However, before this trip, I purchased the full face masks for my kids because they had no experience snorkeling ever. And I wanted it to be a great experience. Uh, I'll actually link that full face snorkel mask down below. Spoiler alert, we actually ordered one for my mother-in-law for our upcoming trip that we're going to be taking. But I definitely recommend it for anyone who maybe has trouble snorkeling, has trouble getting a seal on the snorkel between their mask and the actual snorkel. My mother-in-law has a problem with that. Hence why we ordered her the full face mask. Uh, but it was just an absolutely incredible, wonderful experience. So then after we finished with the sea turtles, I can't even pick a best part because every single thing that we did was amazing. But we got back into our van, we drove three minutes down the road and we went to this incredible lunch restaurant and lunch was included and you get to this restaurant it looks like a little hole in the wall the town of Akamal is so cute it's so tiny and authentic feeling i hope it is um, but we get to this tiny little restaurant it's got this awesome thatched roof so it's all open air but it's cool inside i don't know how they it, it's something with the breeze and the thatched roof it remains cool inside so we were able to order, I think we had three different options, some kind of taco, some kind of fish, I think it was chicken taco, some kind of fish dish, and some sort of um, steak or beef taco dish. Uh, we got the chicken and it came with a beer or a soda, so we had a beer and my kids got lemonade. And I've never had better tortillas in my entire life. This restaurant was incredible. Everybody that worked there was so sweet and we just had the most delicious lunch ever. So after that, it was probably around 1 or 1.30 in the afternoon. We loaded back into the van and we headed back to the Iberostar Star Resort. So we were probably about 45 minutes to an hour away at that point. Worked out great because everybody got a little rest in the van. And then by the time we got back to the resort, we were able to enjoy the rest of our afternoon before dinner. So if you're looking for an absolutely incredible excursion experience, I'm going to link the tour that we took ourselves down below. It is not an affiliate link or anything. I just want to share this company because I love them so much. This is not sponsored in any way. They're just a wonderful company to work with. A locally owned man who is incredible. Hey there, Santiago. And I hope that you guys consider this excursion for your next trip. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.